Yes, yeah, welcome to my YouTube channel. It's been a while. Lagos has dealt with me. Lagos State. I don't know what is in the air. Like, the traffic is now getting crazy. Like, I'll be coming back from work by 10 p.m. <laughs> because I'm going to look for money. Do you understand? I don't, I can't relate, honestly. So, you know, I'm not coming back like, hmm. There's no even strength, you know, to do YouTube videos or things I love to do. So guys, that's why I've not been around for a while now. So I'm just going to give you guys like gisto. So the topic for today is life is not that serious. Don't take life seriously. <laughs> if you take life seriously, you just have hypertension, honestly speaking. So the other day I went to the market now, after 12, sun was shining, I dressed up and <laughs> I went to the market, guess what happened? Within 30 minutes, like rain just stepped falling, you know this annoying rain now, hmm. it stepped falling and I was not even prepared because it was just to quickly get something and quickly come back <laughs> and rain just started falling. So hmm. I now enter, I was inside Keke now, as usual. So I was not coming back from the market, then... The rain has started falling now, so I had to. So when we not, when I got to my house for me to come down, the woman was like, "She can't come down. She now I'm going to come down from the car." I was in the middle, <laughs> see me squeezing myself. <laughs> finally, finally, I sure I came out. When I came out, the rain was still, you know, beating me left, right, and center. And I got to the compound and I stay hearing voices at the back. I was like, "Which kind of voices are this one?" And I went to the back and guess what? Children, <laughs> children were playing games. Children were playing games under the rain. That moment, I just started laughing. I was like, <laughs> this life, eh? <laughs> Don't take it serious. So, <laughs> that was not even the main gist. The main gist is that the next day I was going to work. Do you remember that Tuesday? If you're in Lagos, there's one Tuesday that the rain that fell was crazy. Like, it fell for hours non stop. So, on my way to work now, I saw the weather. So, I took my umbrella. I got inside the bus, down for bus, yellow bus. <laughs> when I got inside the bus, so the rain is there for it. We're on top of Third Mainland Bridge. You know how long the bridge is. We're on top of the bridge. <laughs> I was at the back of the driver. So I, I now closed the window, like the window by my side. I closed it. And I said, Oh God, driver, I beg. <laughs> I beg, close the window now. The man was like, Madam, <laughs> Madam, no vex. <laughs> the window no fit close. <laughs> Meaning, Driver, please, can you close your window? He was like, no, I'm so sorry, madam. The window cannot close. <laughs> no, that moment. <laughs> I just stay laughing because I can't be angry. <laughs> I can't waste my anger. Like, rain. Rain was beating me. Inside the bus. People in the bus were saying, ah, that when we reach our workplace today, <laughs> that moment, I could never think of walk or going anywhere i was just took it of my life like ah this is how rain is going to be rain was beating me rain was beating me inside the bus guess what now happened <laughs> we're now like we're almost close to a balance day like 20 minutes to a balance day our motor stopped stopped walking <laughs> on the road <laughs> you know there's difference between you are moving rain is beating you and you are standing still <laughs> and rain is beating you that's how um, we now stood still low to so that damn phone that came to help our life. We now started going. But what happened was during those moments, I told you guys I was not angry because I can't be angry, like I can't waste my anger because it's something that oh, this is something that must happen. Do you understand? This I, I'm already inside the bus, I don't have a choice. So the road is going to be soon. But when we got to Balani, there was this old man I saw on the like that slab now, that pedestrian slab, um, pedestrian way. Before you get down to the bridge, the old man was crippled, so he was staying under the rain and begging for arms under that rain. He couldn't even move. So the rain was beating him and he was just there. Like when I saw him, my heart just melted. I was like, wow, at least I'm inside. I'm inside a car. <laughs> In the rain, it's beating me. And at least I have legs. Do you understand? I have legs, I can move, I have a destination I'm going to. When I get there, I have hope. When I get there, I'm going to go to the next place. Do you understand? So I was just very grateful for everything. You know, when I just saw that man, I should have gave him some money, <laughs> You know, but it really touched my heart that anything that you think you are going through, <laughs> people are going through worse. 
and they are living the life when i gave the man the small money i, I gave him he was so grateful and i was like is it because of this money that this man is so grateful do you understand but he was in a very bad situation but me at least i had hope of oh i'm going somewhere and at least last last i go i go i'll stay inside you know a very conducive environment you know and the likes but he was just there he didn't have any hope he didn't have any plans you know for the next minute and it really touched me that ah you might think you are going through the worst thing in life but trust me there are people that are going through worse and they are they are, they are overcoming the situation no matter how bad it is you know this country is becoming so i don't i don't know what to say like bag of rice is now forty five thousand naira. Forty five. Five thousand <laughs> people's salary is that bag of rice. Even Derek has seven fifty, one paint four thousand for rice. Eh? Don't talk about me. You go to market with ten thousand. Like you can't even you can't even count what you are buying. You can't count. Things are just getting so expensive. So and the same is here. Hmm. Don't kill yourself for oh. hmm. Don't stress yourself, oh, because this life is turn by turn. It's going to come. Everything is going to be fine. One thing I always tell myself is that people's, uh, my dreams are already people's reality. So one day, my dream is going to become my reality. So don't kill yourself. Oh. Don't take this life seriously. December is coming. Everybody's like, oh, I want to achieve this. I want to achieve that. See, I don't see this new year, end of the year, everything. It's just like, they must just be there. But it's just the same thing. It's the same thing. And one thing about life is that, hmm? If you think that when you are going to, when you get this thing that, oh, your life, your life is, has changed. You have gotten everything in life. Just get it. That's when you see that there is problem. That's when you see that, oh, you need to do this, you need to do that, you need to do this, you need to do this. So we all have to learn to be grateful in every situation. As soon as you are watching this video, just calm down and say, God, thank you for where you've brought me till now. Thank you from January to this November that everything is going to be fine. Everything is going to be fine. So I just want to encourage you, you know, that everything is going to be fine. Don't take life seriously. I hope you enjoyed this video because I did. Please subscribe to my channel. Oh. <laughs> Have a wonderful weekend. Bye.